My parents just bought a beautiful 1914 Craftsman and it has a big backyard with lots of different zones and it also contains our first renovation project. So let's take a look. So when you first walk out the back door, this is what you see. It's this beautiful covered back porch area. They have lots of little zones back here, which I'm very jealous of because my backyard has no landscaping at the moment and no little fun zones, but hopefully one day I will. So if we walk back here, we have their shed, which is really nice for storage. And then we have this cute little garden path here that leads us to our first zone which is through this little archway that will be great for climbing vines and then we have a little fountain area with a bench very much like fairy garden vibes clearly this still needs to be refinished benches little fairy garden things over here and then if we continue on the path we head to the greenhouse and this is a really amazing greenhouse because it's completely made out of cedar and it smells incredible inside but also super practical because bugs don't like cedar lots of room for plants and then back here behind the greenhouse is this empty area that the old owners used for their rv so my parents will figure out what they want to do with that but if we head back this way we can see the back porch from here and that is where the first project space will be. So let's head over there and I'll show you what I mean. So here on the back porch, it's a big, beautiful space, ton of potential, but there are some structural issues that need to be addressed first and then some aesthetic things. And then we get to building fun stuff. So let's walk through it. One of the biggest issues with the back porch is the supports. So these beams were put in place, but they weren't put on concrete footers. They're just put on top of the pavers themselves and the pavers have cracked and started to sink, which means that the supports are starting to sink, which is not good. So what I'm gonna to try to do is find a way to re reinforce these pour some actual concrete footers in, replace these beams and try to make this more structurally sound because otherwise there's not really a point in doing anything back here if it's just going to sink and crumple and tear off part of the house, which is not good. So one thing you can definitely see back here is that there are big cracks in the concrete and that is because there isn't really good drainage on this house. There are no gutters. So when the water comes down off the roof, it can seep in under the concrete and mess with it. So cracking has occurred. Hopefully drainage issues will be solved at the later date, but at least I can patch these cracks for now. Other cosmetic things back here, we have these vents that were added when the foundation was fixed to allow for proper ventilation in the crawl space. Those need to be painted to match the space color down here. We have a lot of different funky lighting happening that probably needs to be addressed. And then I also need to add furniture. And I'm thinking about actually building all the furniture myself, which could be really fun. So I want to do, I think, rocking chairs here and then probably like a feature wall back here. And then over here, I'm debating between a couch and coffee table or like a hanging patio bed because my dad really likes the idea of a day bed. It'll be really fun to build no matter what it is. So once all those issues are addressed, we fix the structure, we fix the cracks and we add railings and we add furniture. And then we get to the fun part, at least to me. We are going to screen this all in because this is Texas and we get a lot of mosquitoes and half the year it would be unusable to use this outdoor space if you didn't have a screen. So we're gonna add a screen back here, but not only that, we're also going to make this a catio because my parents, like me, love cats and have lots of cats and there are indoor outdoor cats where they currently live, but when they move here, they don't want them to be outdoor cats they just want them to be indoor and catio bound so we're going to make this a screened in catio it's going to have lots of cool cat features you know i'm excited and i'm also going to get to build things like the big screens which is going to be great as practice for me too because i'm planning to screen in my back porch eventually so it'll be really good for me to figure out how to do this on a smaller scale so yeah a ton of potential back here but definitely need to address the structural issues first but then we get to the really fun parts of building furniture and making it into a a catio, which again, I'm so excited about.